Hello, Mac Warriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Today it is time to play the Hellfire because it is a very mobile. It's not a medium. It's a heavy mech actually. It's a 60 tonner, so on the lower end of the heavy tonnage. However, it's very mobile. It is able to use mask, and it has a very high hard point here. And as you can see, we are running a big gun there. It's an LB20 that we use as our main weapon. We are using the Hellfire A here. The maximum engine rating, by the way, is 290, which means that. Uh, we are running 78.3 kph on this heavy mech already. It's pretty good. It's pretty fast And then we have a clan mask on top of that which gives us a nice burst of speed as well as a speed bonus of 26% so um, we are running about 100 kph when we hit the mask button and we're gonna zoom around the battlefield with that thing Cool thing about it is that we can position ourselves very very well because our acceleration deceleration gives us the nice burst of speed Which means that um, yeah, we are kind of always in movement and, and jiggling around and trying to find our spot in the flanks of the enemies and the backs of the enemies We can intercept in a spot where we are needed and we're gonna bring that big gun to the point here our support weapons are four medium pulse lasers which are great because they kind of sync up with the range of our LB20 and they have a rather fast firing rate which I really like. Rest of it, heat management, ammunition and we got a build here. That's the Hellfire guys. Let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the game, of course. And as you can see, I was going for the violet notes here. I wanted LBX spread. I think on a LBX20, you can really benefit from it. We also have two points of magazine capacity. The rest is heat gen and cooldown. I want to be able to fire as fast as possible. And yes, I was skipping the laser nodes. Since we are kind of a frontliner, I need a bit more armor in structure. Therefore, almost maximum skeletal density, but maximum armor hardening. And we are missing some AMS and reinforced casing here. On top of that, a bit of cooldown so that we can keep the mech cold and stay engaged all the time. And I think it is kind of well balanced uh, in terms of heat management. It's not too hot. It's also not overcooling. And if you take a little bit of a break every now and then, and you know, reposition yourself, you will cool down naturally and you can then engage again. Don't try to stay in prolonged fights though, because the medium pulse lasers will rack up a lot of heat. We have 60% rated deprivation as well as a consumable slot here as our value pick. This is one skill point that I almost always take. Uh, actually one of the first ones because you just double the amount of uh, consumables that you can take with you. And we are running a Kutron and a UAV today. And that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing uh, the HP. Come on, yeah, HPG Manifold. Oh, we are playing the Domination. We are playing the Lucky Eye Shooting. And we need to uh, <coughs> un unjam our mask a bit. <laughs> that was a lot. So we have 40 shots for our LB20. We can shoot at about 400 meters. Uh, I mean, everything lines up to 350, 400 meters here on our in our weapon systems, which is very nice. I like builds like that. They are very, very easy to play. We only have to click two mouse buttons technically. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of simple. You go to 400 meters, you kill. End of story. And I mean, there's also a bit of movement and tactical play involved. But hey, let's check it out. Gonna watch this ram. Nothing here. Cool. Gonna watch my people come to the center. That's good. I'm I'm also gonna try. Let me go quickly to heat vision. I wanna see if there's anything here. There's a guy. Oh. I took damage by a jester. It is me, jester. Come on. Yeah, oh my god, that's everybody. Alright! Flapanata! Okay, 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 okay. Let's disengage from that. That is a lot. <laughs> Oh man, let me see. There's a guy still. And we hit him, but not well. And there's a lot of AMS floating around as well. Uh, okay, so we we want to see. That was way too late. There's a bunch of people. Interesting. What about we're gonna peek through here when they're coming around? Yup. That's a back shot. Oh, it was, uh, maybe it was the artillery that hit him in the back there. Back shots, back shots. That's what we do. Yup. Exactly. This summoner up. already. Leg damage. That's perfect. And, uh, and and we push and we push and we push and we push and we push. We push up here, I believe. Uh, this is not good, guys. There are a lot of people, like a lot of people. And we are dropped. Okay. There is a. Ooh, what? Is that enemy? Is that friend? It's a friend. Okay, good to know. Why are? Oh, you are trying to retreat. That's. Okay, he is behind that thing. That's what's happening here. Hi, mister. 
Okay, one more shot. Two more shots. We got him! So, two kills. UAV up, please. Now the enemies are dropping? Really? Dude, that's not a good idea. Okay, got something done. Let me take the arm off, maybe? Cool shot. What's going on here? Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Got him. Nice! Five and one! So, up to the high ground. There are people behind me, but I'm just trying to push through real quick. So that I'm losing the angle. Actually, why not? Woohoo! Uh, there's a blood ass and we are in his back! Yes! Oh, that wasn't the kill, but he is basically dead. Hello. Ah! Wow! What is going on here? The enemies were crumbling so much! I have the feeling that they were obliterated by... Uh, by just being split? Just being split like crazy. Alright. So, we have a light mech here. At the very least, there is low signal. And then there is one more target after that. Holy macaroni. That was so good, guys. Well done. 10 and 2. Very quick work. Very efficient kills here. Target acquired. Got it, mate. Got him! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stealing all the kills here. All right, and I believe the last guy is in the basement, maybe? I don't know. Is he even there? He has a ping. We are capturing, and yeah, nobody is in the circle. So wherever that guy is, did somebody say, oh, DC Delta 7? Oh, it's so, I, I really feel pity for my enemies when they are not fighting with their full capacity. At the same time, I'd say we, again, we were aggressive enough to get some early kills. Enemies were super split. And here you can see again, if you, they had like two fights at the same time. Two assault mechs on the top that were uh, pushed by like three or four of ours. And then they had that other kind of cluster of mechs on the other side of the battlefield that, um, that, that we obliterated there. So having a murder ball going on is the best idea, guys. Having more firepower in a single spot, then your enemies will win you the fight and then eventually will win you the game. Anyway, we got four killing blows. We got three assists, two kill, most damage dealt, 539 damage done, 151 taken, nine components destroyed. And yeah, this game was over so quickly. Nobody broke 600 here. Holy crap. Good job, guys. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, a second game of the day. We are playing Assault on the Grimplexes, and we're gonna have a good time here. So, uh, what are we doing? Uh, our Assault mechs are going... Ah, half of them are going to the left, half of them are going to the right side. By the way, uh, going to the left side, to the Charlie 5 area, when you spawn in Charlie 4 is better, because it's closer to the actual enemies. Oh, uh, now they're turning around. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to defend this and group up before we do anything. Our Assault mechs will take a while. Uh, he here's the thing, guys. If you spawn here... Uh, your friends are spawned here mostly and it's kind of a trap following your friends to this area But you can get over here quicker because you will spawn in Charlie 4 5 ish and just going cutting across here Will be a straighter line. It's a, a shorter line than going all the way around here to group up on the base So therefore usually go to the left side when you're an assault mech spawned there and uh, yeah, as I was saying, I don't really want to push those guys. Um, I don't really want to go to the Fox 7 area here because it will be ring around the rosy all the time. So we, we can also defend this here. Why not? Let's just stay here, wait for our assault mechs to arrive and just build up a nice, good old murder ball. That's what we do. <laughs> nice camo, man. Nice camo. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> All right, so the long rangers are doing their long range stuff. I should probably also go override here and I, I hope my annihilator is coming coming soon Look at that. Come on. We have a we have a different uh, like a different pace a different play style than what usually happens And I think I like it. I think I like it I mean in the early game We cannot really do anything because we are lacking range at the same time It might trip the uh, trick the enemies on, on doing some some stupid mistakes here. There's all the PPCs. All right. Uh, and missiles. Oh. All right. They have the long range. We don't. What about our Annie? Annie? Are you okay, Annie? Huh? All right. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. So, yeah. Just staying here. Staying at base. Doing nothing for the first phase of the game. Until everybody is there. Why is the Annihilator so slow? I mean, Annie's are slow. Yes. But he is walking like 20 kph. Feels like. Oh, man. So... Good. So Annie is somewhat in the house now. Uh, Nightstar, I'm just checking his health, is at 99%, which means he didn't really get shot. The only thing that he got 
was a bit of lag damage or bumping into each other damage here. So I'm gonna move around here because again the night star tells me that we are somewhat safe. Oh, look at all of these PPCs. Okay Warhammer, what's your plan huh? We can actually sneak upon the enemies by just going down here. Yeah that's good. Okay. I'm making a slight push towards golf 6, golf 7 now. Let's see. Oh, actually, there's a cicada. That means our left flank is completely occupied by defending itself against light mechs and, and medium mechs, you know. Okay. We have an assault mech with us. I think it's the Night Star. And there are also heavies and uh, mediums coming. That's good to know. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to drop my UAV here in the Fox 7 area. So let's start with that. Let's get some vision here. Ooh, actually. Take that. So we have a single guy. It's a Vapor Eagle. Nobody else. Let's get up the high ground then. Yeah. Is he is he really alone? I think he is. Yeah, that was the triple ERPPC guy from earlier. Oh, that was a miss. Ooh, don't hit me, buddy. Good, he's not going to hit me. Uh, that means we have... Yeah, we have the eagle kind of cornered here. Come on, we need to leg him. The cicada is on my tail, though, which is a kind of a bad situation. Ooh, big miss. Not good. I want the eagle. Also, somebody is behind us, which is uh, bad. So, let's get the eagle. Eagle is in cover. What's the... It's another roughneck with PPCs. I know that your legs are gone, so... Leg the eagle, guys. Leg the vapor eagle. And you got it. Foxtrot is almost legged. Just go for it and kill him. He cannot go anywhere. Come on, guys. We can do it. Just do it together. Got him. Nice! So... Oh, that's... That's badish. That's really badish. I gotta mask my way out of this here. Don't wanna get hit in the back so much. Alright, so we made it to cover. Not good. One incoming missile. Guys, we need more people here. Like, right now. Not good. But okay. Peeking. Peeking against. Oh. Big stuff. Big stuff is happening there. Also, I'm stuck on the rock. Ah, I hate myself for that. It's not good. That was a bad peek. It's a freaking dire wolf. Where to go? What's my team doing? I cannot really assess the situation right now. Oh, 800 meters, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of this here. Uh, we got the linebacker. That's good. Let's get out of here. We, we leave the dire wolf there. We're gonna deal with his uh, friends first. Unless we are kind of pushing this guy. Can we get the dire wolf, Lima? Is that possible? Yeah, if we all go in, we can easily overwhelm this guy. Um, sure. This is where we are. This is what we have. UAV is good now. Or would be good. Cool. We got the Dyer. Um, now it's time to get the Shadowcat. Sure. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's my left side torso. I need to keep that. Take that, mister. He's not aware. Got him. Six and nine. Did we not get the Shadow Kitten? We did not get the Shadow Kitten. Let's change that. Component destroyed. Nice. Got him. But what now? 7 and 10. Can we sustain ourselves here? Freaking Sun Spider. No. 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 Not allowed. Not allowed. Um. 7 and 10. Oh man. That Vanguard. It's gonna give me hell. But I'm gonna give him hell in return. <laughs> oh. There's a light mech. Cool shot, cool shot. We have one shot, by the way. Hit him. I don't know. I don't know if we can make it here. Uh, what's the... Uh, my flea is almost dead. Oh, no. Come on, guys. We need to get it done. Ah, bad shot here. On my behalf. What's the light mech gonna do? He is not shooting. Why? Ah, he was waiting for it. Man, I was trying my best here, but we got obliterated. Alright. Yeah, it was a good game anyway.
I mean, it's cool that it's kind of changed the pace a little bit since we waited in the first phase of the game, but it wasn't... Yeah, we weren't able to get things done here. We, however, got five killing blows. We got two assists, one KMDD, about 600 damage done, about 600 taken, and seven components destroyed. Man, I like the build. It's really cool. It's very mobile. It can pull a lot of cool shenanigans off. And yeah, that was your daily dose for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.